This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today, May 13, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the M6.66 solar flare that was generated from Sunspot Group AR3664 actually pushed us back into a proton storm. What I'm guessing, it was much larger than M6.66 and it was partially eclipsed by the limb of our sun. The timing makes perfect sense. And that sunspot has actually generated several more additional M-class solar flares today. I wanted y'all to take a look at the M6.66 solar flare and how long it stayed in M-class territory here. This is approximately, and let's try to get a good number on this, a very long time. Perhaps five or six hours, an incredibly long-term flare. And again, I'm guessing it was stronger than a 6.66, partially eclipsed by our limb. I think we can all attest to the fact that when these sunspot groups go off on that far limb, Oftentimes, they're geoeffective towards Earth because of our geomagnetic connection to that limb. Over to Space Weather Live. First off, I'd like to say that several solar flares have not been assigned to sunspot groups. We see all of the M flares except for this one right here, which really happened late yesterday out of 3676. Generated from our old friend Sunspot Group AR3664. All of them today, unless some of these other flares were assigned to other Sunspot Groups. I'd like to say that Space Weather Live quit putting data down at 8.23 UTC time. And the M6.66 that you do see up here happened around 1200 UTC time. I don't know why they stopped putting events down. I've never seen them do that before. But again, the M6.66 was closer to 1200 UTC time, which is not covered here. We know that it did come from AR3664, and AR3664 has been very active and actually continued to generate M flares after the M6.66 that was probably much stronger and partially eclipsed by our limb. Today we have a 95% chance of an M flare. That ship sailed. And we still, according to Space Weather Live, have a 75% chance of having an X class solar flare, which I probably don't agree with. Now I want to bring you over to Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager and show you all the activity still occurring from Sunspot AR3664. It hasn't stopped and it doesn't look like it's going to. I'm sure we'll enjoy it under another name. We also have tons of sunspots over here that are flaring uh, and many more coming around the limb that have not been named yet but look extremely active. Now this picture was taken earlier. You can see Sunspot AR3664 eclipsing that limb. And I believe when that larger flare popped off, it was even more so eclipsed by the limb. and was probably much stronger than our GOES X-ray flux indicated. We also have plenty of newly named sunspots. The last one being 3680 with more coming around the limb. And they are very active and will be probably growing as they become more earth facing, which is exactly what we've been seeing, but very hard to understand or explain. All right, going over to our D region absorption prediction center, I believe we get to see this M6.6 flare 
and that could be it right there or it could be one of the tails that we saw that was a really long term explosion and I wanted to show you guys that we're still in a polar cap absorption event probably reinforced as you'll see here at the end by that latest flare that's impacted earth at least the x-rays have along with the proton impact that i just showed you guys so we had one of our subscribers disagree with noah's statement earlier and i must say that i disagree with it as well as i did mention that in that video what do you guys think about these quote unquote two glancing blow cmes inbound let me know in the comments below remember we're still in a proton storm we're still in a polar cap absorption event which means radiation is pouring into the poles and you can see it was actually just reinforced here most probably by the m6.66 solar flare that was probably much stronger and partially eclipsed by our limb God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.